It's David from Site3D here, and I'm going to quickly show you the info drainage import and export facilities in Site3D. So I have a site here that has the storm and foul pipes put in with their initial default depths and sizes. So what I want to do is quickly just level the storm so that it falls all the way to my outfall over here, and then export it out to info drainage. And we're going to do that by just quickly going to our drainage and uh, network auto leveling and auto sizing and choosing my outfall. And in this case, I've got a, uh, an outfall level already set. I will um, size it uh, from the location that it's at using the M560 and ratio R values. Click OK. And now it's auto sized it and auto leveled it to flow towards the outfall. So all I need to do now is save this out. Go to the file, save as, and under the drainage column, we have info drainage IDDX. In here, we have the two networks. I have my surface or storm network, which is already set. I have my foul, which won't export because it must have at least one outfall. I haven't done anything with the foul yet. So I'm going to choose just my storm, my surface network. Hit export, give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to overwrite that file. And then I can load that up in info drainage. So I'm going to open up info drainage here, open the existing file, choose it off the uh, file menu here. And there I have my network brought in. The text size is rather large, so I'm just going to go to the view menus here, go to display settings, and go to the plan and just change the text size back to something like one, which gives me a, a more reasonable view. And you can see that we have the network through, we have the drainable areas in here. These are all the shapes that we've drawn on or digitized on to match the housing and the driveways. And also we have our pond as well with the shape of our pond brought through as well. So in here, we could make some changes um, and then re-export it. So if I just do something very simple for the moment, just go into a single pipe and change the um, pipe diameter from say a 375 to say a uh, 450. Change that one, click OK. And then save this. So I can just go file and hit save. I want to overwrite it, that's fine. Then I'm going to close that one down and bring it back into Site3D. So we should see our final pipe change in diameter when we do this. File, Import, Drainage, Info Drainage IDDX, and just pick that file again. And there we go. Our outfall has changed in diameter slightly. And that is the uh, Info Drainage IDDX import and export facilities in Site3D. Thanks for watching.